So trying something a little different tonight. Uh, this is some video that I took when I replaced the rear shocks on Nookie back on the, the 7th. Worst thing about the whole process, I think, was probably removing all the trim and figuring out how to do that. The back plate comes off, it all just sort of unsnaps and pulling it hard enough and it comes up. The sides were kind of the same way. When I looked at some of the videos online, they had these guys completely pulling out the uh, pulling out the side panels completely. And realistically, I didn't need to do that. I just needed to get them out of the way enough so that I had access to the lovely bolts that were holding on the shocks. It's a double bolt setup, so it was a matter of taking off the first one and then taking off the second one. This is the one that was just completely broken off. Yeah, that was what was banging around. Jacking up the back end of Nookie. That's a lovely back brace that uh, keeps everything up. There's the shock. <laughs> you can tell why that made a lot of noise. That's the other side that's nice and solid. Uh, now, these bolts that hold on the shock absorbers, I sprayed them with this spray catalyst. It's PB. It's some really amazing stuff. I actually sprayed them the night before. And um, important safety tip, when you've got a breaker bar and you're trying to put it on, use both hands. And uh, there's another little trick that I learned too, is that when you've got a breaker bar and you still can't break it with a breaker bar, you get an extension. This happens to be a piece of conduit that I had. I got it on the other side, but it made breaking it so much easier. You can kind of see when it snaps here. Boom, there it went. Yeah, it's a lovely piece of work. And even after that thing was broken off, it was still just amazingly difficult to get the nut off of there. But, you know, eventually I did. Happily, I had a 15 16 socket and was able to get these off. Uh, taking the side off, take, there's a nut on there and then a washer. And there's another washer on the other side. But getting the shock out was just fabulous being able to pull it out and it just came out. Uh, the one on the other side was a little harder, uh, mostly because I, it was still kind of attached on the top. Now the new shocks have this interesting bit of, uh, I guess, a shipping thing on it to hold, sort of hold them together. There is a spring inside, so if you take that off, it's going to extend, and you really don't want to do that. Now this is this is what it comes with. It's got these rubber bushings, and then that's where the body of the car sits. Put the other rubber bushing on. Put that on the top and then seal it down with that nut and then i had the other capture nuts from before the ones that i took off so this is actually getting it in there um, i didn't get the video of that unfortunately but it's a uh, you jack up the bottom of the shock absorber and kind of guide it in from the side happily it went in fairly easily and i was able to do it by myself get that side on tighten it down and there you go. And just pop the trim back into place. Uh, the, the silver part that's on there is actually the battery pack for the, um, for the hybrid system. And that's going to have to get replaced at some point, unfortunately. But that's the way it goes.